From your local election headquarters, the race to become Oklahoma counties, the largest county in the state, next district attorney is heating up. Tonight, these six candidates, four Republicans and two Democrats, making their case before voters. News Force Kaitor K was at tonight's debate, and he's joining us now live. Kaitor. Kevin, the central chunk of tonight's debate focused on the Oklahoma County Jail and policing, with topics ranging from the incarceration rate to charging police officers for use of excessive force to building a new jail. Six candidates vying to become the next Oklahoma County District Attorney. The four Republicans, Oklahoma County Commissioner Kevin Calvey, Oklahoma County Assistant District Attorney Galen Giger, and Defense Attorneys Jackie Ford and Robert Gray, debating at the University of Central Oklahoma Wednesday night. One of the questions raised, if the candidates plan to vote to approve the $260 million bond to replace the long-troubled county jail, they all raised their hands, with Giger saying he's on the fence. I'm going to put it halfway up. <laughs> Why? Why? Because a new building will not fix the jail's problems. Do we need a new county jail? Absolutely. It has been a nightmare since it went up. It is not safe for the detention officers. It is not safe for the inmates. A new jail is better designed. Nobody, and I mean nobody, builds 13-story jails anymore. Democratic candidates Mark Miles and Vicki Behenna asked the same question. Behenna says she's a yes vote. It is unsanitary. It is unclean. There is not medical assistance for the people that need medical assistance. So I'm undecided about that. I think we could do a better job by building a new mental health facility to address the issues that uh, the jail has. The primary election is set for Tuesday, June 28th. Live at UCO, Kaitor K, Oklahoma's News 4.